One of the most disturbing cases in Chicago history, the Burr Oak Cemetery scandal. Now one of the defendants is set to go to trial six years later. In this original report, CBS 2's Suzanne Lemonio explains why he can't wait to have his day in court. I want everybody to know what really happened out at Barrow Cemetery. In 2009, Keith Nix and two other defendants were accused of digging up bodies at Burr Oak Cemetery to resell burial plots. Now, six years later, the case is going to trial. Jury selection begins January 26th. Four of the seven counts against Nix have been dismissed. Nix was a supervisor at the cemetery. He oversaw two men in his role. Both are now prosecution witnesses. You told the authorities Two disgruntled employees made this all up. This is not true. I've done nothing wrong. Right. I sure did. I have three generations buried at Burrow, and my job was to come in and was to enhance the place. I really feel bad for the families that got drawn into this. It didn't happen. The truth is going to come out. Nick says one of the men continually went to an area where extra soil from old burial digs was dumped in the 80s. He had actually started excavating bones, fragments, bone fragments and plant them throughout the cemetery, even in the lunchroom area. So one of the guys even had the nerve to take a set of teeth in the office. Nix's attorney, Tony Parika, items of evidence says under the Cemetery Protection Act, Nix isn't liable for the remaining charges. Why are they pursuing this still, do you think? This case is about the vast abuse of governmental authority by the sheriff's office and the state's attorney's office, who have to date expended up to $10 million of taxpayers' money to investigate and prosecute a case that has no merit. Now, a spokesperson for Cook County State's Attorney, Anita Alvarez, says no comment can be made on the case prior to trial. And a spokesperson for Sheriff Tom Dart, a key figure in the entire investigation, says there is no comment on these, in their words, baseless allegations. Live in the newsroom, Suzanne Lemigno, CBS2 News. Rob, Marissa. Thank you, Suzanne.